All right, the fourth installment of the Bad Boys franchise. Bad Boys, Ride or Die. No, it's not for life, and people say they should have named this one for life because it's the fourth installment. But the directors of the movie and the last one said, we didn't think there's going to be a fourth one. We just thought that it's going to be three, you know, for life, and then that's it. But no, the company wanted more. Which made sense because it was a good movie. Alright, so here are my thoughts about the movie. I believe that this movie is good. It's good. The first half of the, of the movie, it was kind of... The first half was kind was a little bit shaky. For me, I fear... So I've, I've, I've watched other reviews as well. And, you know, I just compared it to my thoughts. I agree upon that the villain in this film... You could tell early on, but the thing is about this film, my little, not, I don't want to say clap back towards that, but my thoughts, you know, countering it is that, yes, the villain's predictable, but that doesn't make the movie bad. You know, it still could be a fun movie, and like I said, this is a fun, good movie. So the negatives about the movie is like, what I've already, what I've said is that it, it, some parts and some aspects is predictable in the movie. Also, the silliness and the goofiness. Sometimes they toned it. They toned it down a bit, and they toned it down in the second half of the movie. Of course, the jokes, all that stuff, were kept going. Which, the, well, that's a positive with the joke. I mean, jokes. Some of the jokes and with Mar Lawrence and Will Smith chemistry, and all that stuff. That's a positive. But the silliness and goofiness was a tad bit much at times and then you could tell like when some jokes or some punch lines are coming up it's like ah i get it but it's like i don't necessarily need that much right here but that was some aspects of the movie the rest everything was hitting in all cylinders hold on another thing that I didn't necessarily like is I know people like this about the movie, but some of the camera angles and camera shots, people like that first person views and also like the the weapon flipping in midair. I didn't necessarily like some of the newer shots, newer angles, but that's just me. It's probably, it may take time to grow me, but first time seeing it, I really didn't like it as much as everyone else likes it. But with the negatives out the way, like I said, one of the positives about the movie is that Will Smith, 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 and Mara Lawrence chemistry in this movie, phenomenal. It's absolutely great. Also, I believe a good part of the movie were the side characters. The side characters, it didn't necessarily focus, well, it didn't focus on them, but I think when they were on screen, they did a good job. Also... <laughs> Come on now, like I said, the action, man. The bad boys, action. Yes, the action was great. I know I mentioned the camera angles and things and, and, and that, but I still enjoyed the action. Now, people, individuals, go on saying, hey, this movie's so predictable, all this other stuff, like how I said, and they turn into a bad rating, a bad score. I didn't necessarily come in with the mindset like, oh, snap, this about to be a life-changing movie. Oh, this is about to change up the game. And all, I didn't have really have the thoughts. I had the thought of like, you know what? This is a bad boys film. I enjoyed the last one. Like I said, well, I haven't said this part, but the third one, I really like the third one. Maybe the best bad boys film for me. I, I, I like it. And with this one, I... Thoroughly enjoyed. I enjoyed how it continued that storyline with, I, I, I forget the character the, the character's name, but Will, Will Smith's son. It continues with that storyline and she, I, I enjoyed it. So my apologies in advance if my thoughts are all over the place and scrambled. It's just, I'm trying to, I know I probably should have written, written this down and things like that, but I'm just going off the noggin. But if I had to rate this film like a, a scale of 1 through 10, honestly, I'll give it like a 7 slash 8 out of 10. I, I I believe you may want to set your... I don't... 
you should set your expectations like, okay, this is about to be a summer movie. This is about to be fun. Uh, a lot of action and things like that. That's where you should sh- set your expectations at. Like I said, if you can't try to come in there with these high, mighty expectations, like it's about to change your life or it's new. Well, there's new stuff in the film, like new tech, not new technology, new technology, but there, there is, like I said, new, somewhat new angles and things like that. But just have it like a fun, have your expectation like, okay, this is a fun, playful summer movie. And I think everything is going to go well and you're going to enjoy it. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I would like to hear your thoughts and I appreciate you watching and listening. All right. Have a blessed day.